Hello Celtics fans, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss Celtics first-hand news and leave your like to strengthen the channel. While the hype in Boston tends to surround Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, Al Horford has been a steady factor in the Celtics' success for not one but two highly productive stints atop the parquet. His efforts may be outshined by the team's 20-something stars, but the five-time All-Stars contributions and leadership have driven Boston to ongoing success. Horford found a second wind in his lengthy career following a 2020-21 campaign in Oklahoma City that saw him play in just 28 games due in part to COVID-19 shutdowns. The former Florida Gator rejoined the CS ahead of the 2021-22 season and was a key component to the Celtics' Eastern Conference title and was equally central to the team's efforts the following year. Leave your like on this video to keep up to date with everything that happens at Celtics Thanks. Continuing. A 16-year veteran with a penchant for reinventing himself, Horford averaged over 30.5 minutes per game during the 2022-23 regular season despite his 36 years of age, consistently bringing defensive heft, plus passing, and opportunistic shooting. With that in mind, Boardroom breaks down the details behind the Celtics' Al Horford contract, as well as his career earnings in the league, where he's officially the highest-earning Latin American player of all time. Put your opinion in the comments as it is very important for Celtics I update you at any time with the latest news from Celtics. Help the channel become a member.